Lake Victoria. Lake Victoria is the second largest freshwater lake in the world by area, the largest in Africa and the largest tropical lake in the world. It has an area of 68,870 square kilometers. The construction of the Owen Falls Dam on the Nile in 1949 and 1954 resulted in a rise in the water level in the lake at a rate of 90 centimeters to a height of 1,100 35 meter above sea level. The depth of the deepest point in the lake is 82 meter. Lake Victoria is one of the African Great Lakes. It is overlooked by three countries, Kenya, Uganda and Tanzania. The lake also includes about 3,000 islands, some of which have become a destination for many tourists. The White Nile River stems from the lake. The Arab traveler Al Idrisi was the first to speak about this fact around 1160 AD, who lived an accurate map of the lake. The lake was named after explorer John Henning Speak in his report, counting the first British to document it. Speak accomplished this in 1858 while on an expedition with Richard Francis Burton to locate the source of the Nile. This campaign was sponsored by the Royal Geographical Society with an area of about 59,974 kilometers. Lake Victoria is the largest lake on Africa by area, the largest tropical lake in the world and the second largest in the world for fresh water after Lake Superior in North America. In terms of volume, Lake Victoria is the ninth largest continental lake in the world and contains about 2,424 cubic kilometers of water. Lake Victoria occupies a shallow depression in Africa. The maximum depth of the lake is between 80 and 84 meters, 262 and 276 feet, and the average depth is 40 meters, 130 feet. Its catchment area covers 169,959 kilometers. The lake has a coastline of 7,142 kilometers when digitized at the 1 million level and the islands make up more than 3% of this length. The area of the lake is divided into three countries. Kenya occupies 6%, Uganda 45% and Tanzania 49%. The lake includes many species of fish that don't live anywhere else, especially tilapia and indigo perch. Geologically speaking, Lake Victoria is relatively young with an age of about 400,000 years formed when west flowing rivers were blocked by a rising crustal mass. During its geological history, Lake Victoria has undergone changes, ranging from its current shallow depression to what may be a series of much smaller lakes. Geological cores taken from the bottom of Lake Victoria show that Lake Victoria has dried up completely at least three times since its formation. It is possible that these drying cycles are related to past ice ages, which were times when precipitation decreased globally. Lake Victoria last dried up about 70,300 years ago and refiled 40,700 years ago with the onset of the African wet age. The Nile River is the only river flowing from Lake Victoria as it exists the lake near Jinja, Uganda, in terms of contributing water. This is what makes Lake Victoria the main source of the longest branch of the Nile. However, the more distant source of the Nile Basin and those the ultimate source of the Nile is often thought of as one of the branch rivers of the Kagera River. The exact tributary remains indetermined, which originates either in Rwanda or Burundi. The upper part of the Nile is generally known as the Victoria River until the reaches Lake Albert. Although it is part of the same river system now as the White Nile and is sometimes referred to as such. Strictly speaking, these names do not apply to it until after the river crosses the Ugandan border into southern Sudan in the north. 
recently, the lake has become showing eutrophication conditions. In the period in 1990 and 91, oxygen concentrations in the mixed layer were higher than in 1916 and 61, with continuous supersaturation of oxygen in surface water, oxygen concentration in low moving water, that is the layer of water that lies below the temperature line, is non-circular and always cold, were lower in 1990 and 91 for a longer period than 1960 and 61, with values less than 1 mg per liter, occurs in waters as shallow as 40 meter, compared to the largest event over 50 meter. In 1961, changes in oxygenation are consistent with the measurements of the high algal biomass and productivity. These changes rose for various reasons, successive burning within its bagen, sood and ash deposited over the vast lake area, from the increased nutrient flows through the rivers, and from the increased pollution associated with settling along their shores. Mammals Many species of mammals live in the Lake Victoria region, and some are closely related to the lake itself and nearby wetlands. Among these are the hippopotamus, the African otter, the mongoose, the marsh, the redback boar, the divasa waterbug, the cane rats, and the giant African otter. Reptiles The lake and the nearby areas contain a large number of Nile crocodiles, as well as helms, and the changing moat turtles, such as the William moat turtle. The William's moat turtle is restricted to Lake Victoria and other lakes, rivers, and swamps in the upper Nile Basin. Lake Victoria is a transit point of a large number of migratory birds, but it's also a living environment for a large number of resident spices. In the dense swamps, many animals find shelter and food. This place is home to Abu Markub Rex, which feeds on fish, amphibians and turtle, and is currently classified as an endangered spices. You can find what stilt and also several types of cormorants, the great cormorant, carbu, and African cormorant, as well as various types of herons. In the wooded savanna that surrounded the lake, we can observe the Senegalese kingfisher, a very colorful for birds that belong to the same family as kingfishes. Near the shore, we can sometimes see edema of worms or barbicans or a black bird with a served throat. Since the 20th century, Lake Victoria ferries have been an important mode of transportation between Uganda, Tanzania, and Kenya. The major ports of the lake are Kisomo, Mwanza, Bakuba, Enti, Fieldport, and Jinja. Until 1963, the fastest and most modern ferry, the MV Victoria, was classified as a royal mail ship. In 1966, train ferry services between Kenya and Tanzania were established with the introduction of Ooro and Umoja. The equal record for transportation in the lake is the sinking of the Bukuya ferry there on May 21, 1996, killing between 800 and 1,000 people, making it one of the worst marine disasters in Africa. Another tragedy tragedy occurred recently on September 20, 2018, involving the passengers of the ferry nearer from Tanzania which caused the deaths of more than 200 people. Wikitube, the first audiovisual encyclopedia in the English version.